Um, so there's a large amount of stench up ahead. Yes. Well, you can kind of see there's marks on the floor. They're weird, like, oily, translucent marks. What kind of smell is it? Like, is it a sulfury smell, a shitty smell? Like... A yeah. shitty smell. Very right. strongly shitty smell. Right. Does not want to. Just for mud. Don't... Aaron's going to yeah, tie a face mask around her face. Also, you know, I just realized something ironic about the previous room. I've been listening to Infected Mushroom this whole time. <laughs> Get that. It's a sign. All right. Once I have my face mask secured, I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay. This doesn't have a face mask, but he's going ahead anyway. As you get closer to the crevasse, oh, right. That's probably why it smells like shit. Because these pits are filled with shit. Uh, did we find the school sewer? No. I mean, unless everyone in the school poops like rabbits, because largely it's just like small pellets down there. Oh, I say small pellets. They're, like, probably fist-sized. Giant rabbits. Big teeth. Huge teeth. Teeth Look as big ball. as you. I'm, uh, keep moving on ahead. Can both of, are you, how are you moving through this room, I suppose I should ask? Quietly. Same as normal. <laughs> but of slightly bouncing. Quieter than Ippos. Not hard to do. That's true. Give me a second. Because Epos, as you're kind of bouncing about, I mean, thankfully it's stone. Not terribly loud. Though, there comes a second where, as you're walking along one of the crevasses, a rock falls from the ceiling. Hmm. Do you need a reflex? Oh shit, piercers? Is it falling that quick, close? No, it's not like a large rock, it's like pebbles. Right. Oh, I look up. How do I? Hmm. That's probably where the poop came from. As you look up and... Rabbits on the ceiling. Oh, Not rabbits. Bats. Rabbits with wings. <gasps> I mean, sure. Pretty big bats as well. So, so, oh. seagulls, so seagulls are pigeons with wings. These are rabbits with wings. Yeah. Bats with wings. Actually, that's pigeons, isn't it? Yes. Rabbits with yeah. wings. Currently, they appear asleep. Shh. Just starts doing sneak. Which I'm sure you can assume what I'm going to ask for now. Stealth checks. Yes. 24. I'll tell you now, you're lucky that I'm still rolling shit. I mean, they are asleep, so sleep. I know, but like, they... I'm just I'm rolling real bad. Oh, this is the massive robot is quieter than Ash. The guy in the guy in full armor is quieter than Ash. That's just because Ash is just kind of quietly talking to himself the entire time, like, "Don't wake up, good bats, don't eat me." Also, I'm the worst person in the party at stealth. So, I'll tell you no. None of you appear to wake up any of the bats yet. However. However, when you reach that red light, I'm going to need another stealth check. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shamu. More stealth. Jesus Christ, Aaron. <laughs> Ooh. Shimmy. Damn it, Priz. Now, now, let, let's... Stop moving inside yeah, them. let's... Priz let, drops her liar. Let people do their <laughs> I mean, Torin, do you want to describe how Priz Melody fucks up or shall I? Um, is this gonna be comedic? Unfortunate? Unlucky? Stupid? I'm going to say like she accidentally slithers over some droppings and just kind of makes like a disgusted, like short yelping noise, like you know that that noise you make when you accidentally step into dog shit, and you're just like. Uh, uh, uh. That's fair. Unfortunately, Prismality realizes it's too late that, oh, maybe I should not have made that noise with my mouth. Oops. As for his rustling from above. Ooh. Well, good news! The two melee fighters are in the same place! What kind of bats are these? Bad news, the tanks are in the same place. I mean, at least you're between two of them. Initiative. 
What kind of bats are these? You're not sure. Shitty well, one. Considering you've had time, you could roll me a knowledge check. See, 20 nature. I'm presuming it was nature. They're yeah. Not, they're not some weird aberration bat. Epos is fairly sure these are dire bats. Some breed of dire bat, at least. They're pretty much just normal bats, but big and right. evil. A lot of teeth. Right, it was like, is it a bat, a vampire bat, a fruit bat? But no, if it's just a normal dire bat, okay. <laughs> yes, it's a fruit bat. I don't think we can really get fruit down here, sadly. I don't know what the dungeon spawns for them. I it's mean, true. they're they're probably insectivores, primarily. But then again, yeah. You know, probably more just opportunistic feeders of small mammals and... Can't be picky down here. Abnormally large bugs. I have a From what little idea. I know of chiropter and physiology and diet. There you go. It's not bad names. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I, I don't have a fun. Is that such a bad thing? Eh, my plan doesn't work as well without fire spell. I have fire. What do you need? Well, I'm thinking these are bat. The pits are full of their shit. That guano oh, is kind no, of explosive. Oh, no, I don't want to explode. <laughs> It, it's fine. You'll, the, the kill, you'll kill us all! The chasm will direct the explosion straight up into the ceiling and kill the bats. It's fine. And then, and oh. then rocks fall, everybody dies. For real. It'll be fine. At the very least, it wouldn't actually kill us, but we'd fail the dungeon. It'll be fine. Trust me. Since when have I ever led no, you wrong? No, I do not trust you. I never trust you. I I never lead you wrong. It, it's fine. Just, just do it. It'll, do it, it'll, it'll be funny. I mean, it might be funny. It'll be funny. Also, Aaron's gonna throw a bomb! You're gonna have Do to give it. me two seconds, because I accidentally clicked on tab. Do it. Throw the bomb. Are you throwing a bomb into the pit? Oh, no. I want to. But... Uh, I will warn you now, the ceiling is about 40 feet high. Oh. Eh, yeah. Never, never mind. Throw it in the pit. Yeah, I'm going just... Just gonna scooch. scooch. Scooch over here. Scooch. We go about half movement for stealth. For Rusty. And Rusty's gonna stealth double move just sort of up here. Okay. And then Aaron's gonna ready a bomb in case one comes at her. Wait, are we wanting to just run past them again? I mean, I have a feeling we're gonna need to fight these soon because they're flying and agitated. I'm just I'm just doing this because I don't want them to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your ready to action? Just if one gets close. If one gets close to me. Okay. Gosh. How far up are they? About forty feet. Forty feet? Yeah, it's a tall room. Yeah, that's uh, that's out of my reach. So, what I'm gonna do is move up here and prepare an action to acid splash one if it looks like it's coming toward me. Okay. I'll be bad soon. Tasty morsel. Hello, as it dive bombs wolf. Wolf is not surprised. Munch time. Never mind. Game, give me something, please. It's a no. It's a big old no. Additional munch time. Come on. <sighs> what the fuck? I hate this game. Can no, I just be just flying into each other? <laughs> no. I can't give myself any more handicaps, Dark. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Ash is just going... Or not Ash. Priz is just going to shoot the bat nearest to her. Okay. Boop. That's a hit. It's not within yeah. range of point blank, but it does do some damage. Oh, why did I have to roll like trash this time? I was totally gonna oh, try and have Ipos do, you know, druid calming of the animal, and then Prismelody shot them. But Tenny can take yeah. one anyway. Yeah, but we've we've done that before. I think for me, an issue for this is there's oh, they're spread out. 
think you can only technically word empathy a creature at a time. Yeah, we've done it before. Really? How are you? Hmm. Okay, time to reach into your special bag of tricks since apparently attacking doesn't work. <laughs> Zoom. Charge. Uh, let's see. What's your CMB? Ooh, actually decent. Um, come on. Five, five or more. Yeah. This wolf, this wolf, this bat dives and appears to almost try and snatch you. But uh, you, I don't know. Dance. I mean, with that, I think I think probably just wolf, like it tries to grab wolf there, and just wolf ends up just tugging away from it, being just with strength. <laughs> wolf just gently bops it with a hammer in the face, like no bad. Oh no. You have a plus five hit. I uh, will say, if you've cast shield at any point before, between going down the floor, I it's probably gone by it, now. I just have it on. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Alana is going to move herself. Uh, okay, she's going to move behind this one and provoke all the attack opportunities in the process. So let's see okay. if uh, any of these hit. I don't have much hope, but here we go. Miss, miss, miss. Okay. So Lana moves here, and she'll attempt to hit this one now that she's blanking. Okay. Why does blanking... Blanking have a buff? I don't know. Just had this uh, you can add two afterwards. Okay. Do this. Uh, I will add two points of stamina to that. That'll hit. And this. That sneak attack. As your scarf rips into it and it screeches in pain. All right. Not nice. Listen, sounds like a personal problem. Anything else? No, that's all you can do. Okay. Bow. New. Snatch time. Snatch time. Snatch time. Come on. Yay. I mean, if there was any that was going to get snatched by them, it, it would be. I haven't managed to hit anything yet. <laughs> well, you have now. Yes, it's true. As it's going to carry you. Five, ten, fifteen, and drop you. You can do that after moving? Yes. Well, that's a dick move. It slightly is a bit. What sort of forward... However, you do get a... Hmm? Hmm? No. It doesn't match the lift you, though. You are dropping 20 feet into Guano. Uh, what would 20 feet be? Fall down. Uh, it would be 2d6, however, you'll take half, because it's soft. Yeah, but it's also in... Guano. I, I don't want to take damage from shit. Um, I'm triggering one of my three per day bubble boots ability to just not take damage from falling. Sure. Mm, As bubbles. you almost fall into it and then whoop. Oh, and I still fall into it. I just don't take damage from the fall. No, no. I'm just, it's like technically with a bubble form, you don't even touch it. And it is Epos. Ah, uh, so. It's like twenty foot to get back out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm in here for the for the match, guys. You do have yeah, a target probably. above you though. How far above me? Just like twenty feet. Right, so he he's basically on the same normal level. Yeah. Right, well let's see if sparks cause explosions. Um I'm targeting the bat, but you know, things happen. <laughs> Things happen. TM. That, that is a bad touch. Oh well. Before I process it, are you going to add anything from your staff and slash for stamina? I've only got one stamina, I can't afford to spend that. Fair enough. I think I've only got one. I'm not sure. No, I've got two. But I, I doubt a three is going to. or a 13 is going to hit better than a 12, so whatever. I tell you not, it does hit actually as you just kind of reach up and pew. Do you have to make a fly check to not fall in with me? He does. Ah, sucker. Taste your own medicine. But it's gonna taste <laughs> some medicine. You're on my level now. Quite literally, yes, it's on your level. Because it takes four points of fall damage. Also, as a creature that's taking full damage, he's not prone. I so want to climb onto it, but I can't do that with a move action. 
I, I can try to start climbing out. I will tell you, it's, yeah, it's pretty singed to down there. Thankfully, your electricity does not spark the guano, but the guano is pretty moist. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing you remembered your boots, uh, huh? Oof. Oh, yeah, I, I don't start climbing out, I guess. It's just kind of... I think it's time I punt a bat. But I, are you all just going to send all the bats down here with me? <laughs> and then blow it up? Tempting! Just form a ladder of bat corpses for Apos to get out, obviously. Actually, how high up is this bat? Uh, that one attacked you, so it's only like five feet above the oh, no, ten feet above the ground, but like reach and shit, you can hit it. So this one is in reach. Interesting. Yeah, if you five foot step next to it or whatever, it'd have to be within reach to hit Alana or whoever it hit. I, mean, I kind of do like the idea of trying to chuck it into the pit. Do it. If possible, have all the friends down here. Have his own little bat party. Much better than that stinky party that was up there. Doesn't help him out of holes or anything. Wow. <laughs> bada bada swing? Yeah, I'll step up to it, I suppose. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't really tackle it into the pit is the problem, that's what I do. <laughs> up. There's yes. No, there's no tackling upwards. But, you know, if I hit it hard enough, I'll throw the, cor the corpse will fly into the pit, so. That's true. Overhead swing time! The best kind of swing. We need to go well for baseball bat. That's basically what my hammer is. Also, I've activated Blood Rage. Spend one round of it. Just heal a little bit, why don't you? Yeah, exactly. I was wounded. Wounded, I say. I also spend one point of stamina on damage. Okay. As you strike true. These things don't appear to be particularly, well, dodgy, at least. As you will solidly funk it. However, this one is still alive. If, you know, thoroughly pummeled. That's fine, on my second attack I'll aim for the pit. That's fair. Hey, also, Aaron. Is it still flying? Uh, true. I'm gonna assume no because I don't think it can roll that high. So it's now on the floor in front of me. Oh, hold on. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Avoid falling after being attacked. Da -da -da. Must make a DC 10 fly. He's fine. Oh wait, Nate. No, yeah, no, he's fine. Oh, okay. The DC for rats actually really low. Fuck. Yes, it's your turn, side lane. Aaron's gonna move here. Yeah. I do have to do a bit of a spur for that. Okay. Very rusty. It's fine. Uh, sorry, Alana. Duck. As I'm gonna chuck a bomb at a bat. The nearest Alana and diagonal through straight down to me. Yep. Oh, a voice really just comes some. out the pit. Oh, they're dark now too. They nice. They taste good. Oh. That will hit. My twelve hit a touch. Okay. Unless, unless you've got range penalty. I don't. <laughs> I know. You're about as uh, close as you can get to using range while not being, you know, melee. Mm -hmm. As indeed you strike true. The flames envelop that one, and Alana and other bat, you need to make reflex saves. What's the DC sideline? Uh, like, I think 14. Are you good? Ooh, wow. Actually hurt Alana. This is unheard of. Hey, Alana, good news. I am eating food very unamused right now. Oh, I'm sorry. But the good news, you get a scar. I know. How much did, wait, did I just take five, right? Yeah, you just take five. Ash. I mean, you're pretty fine over there, actually. <laughs> yeah. Ain't it's nothing chill. bothering me. And the other and the other bat takes half of five, so. Yeah, I it have taken off. Okay. Ash is going to get closer there. How far are you? Thirty five. Just out of reach. Good to be like that. Forever rock. Actually, that's not much better. Actually, how high is the ceiling? 40 feet. 40 feet. Still can't reach that. Uh, also, J-Mac, Rusty has a ready action if one if one gets close to Aaron to bite it. Okay. He only used to move. What you thinking, Torin? I'm thinking I don't have enough range to do anything useful right now. That's fair. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my raid action for if a bat starts approaching me. If it decides it doesn't want to, if it wants to get away from the melee. Which I mean, you're not too far off the mark, considering most of these are, you know, on a quarter hit points. Let's see, how's your acrobatics? Could be bad. I'll give it a try. As it back flaps away from Alana. Nope. Alana, if you want, you get an attack of opportunity as this one attempts to fly away. I guess it's not very... Poor baby. As it falls into the pit. This one's going to attempt much the same. What's your CMD, Wolf? I'm going to assume not 19. It is not currently 19. It was 19 earlier. It's not recurrently. Aha. Uh -huh. um, uh, as you get your ready deduction, probably there. I think. Uh, it has to be within 30 feet. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, technically. Pew pew time. Go, go, gadget acid splash. Oh, hey, I actually rolled well. Damn. Because it'll take free damage. That does not, unfortunately, not enough to kill it, but, I mean, it strikes good and true. As it scre squeals and. Uh, let's see, it starts there. Its movement is a number. I mean, the hope was to deter it, I suppose. But it never works like that. I shall live another day, maybe. Chris Melody. Chris is. can only move to about there. And. can't see Ippo, so she can't make a good, clean shot. But. This is better enough than I'm afraid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and shoot a stalactite above that bat. Okay. The ceiling is certainly rocky enough that you can attempt it. Didn't do enough damage. No. It's kind of just a, you know, I'll give you this, Alana. You get basically an aid, as the bat's a bit distracted by rocks falling on its head. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, this is something. Run away. No. As a opportunity time. Technically, you already got one, so I don't get another one, right? Oh, true. You're yeah. not a combat reflex person. Not yet. Yeah. I'm probably going to pick it up, though. That's useful. No way. And you can still see it, but it's, it's trying its best. Yeah. Unless you desperately want to hunt that one down, the only one left is Epos needing help. Say need help. I mean, yeah, Epos is doing pretty well by himself. Uh, I mean, Alana can't really help him too much, so she's gonna kind of shrug and waltz over here. Uh, I don't know. But she'll go. She'll go to the edge of it and just like watch me just <laughs> die or something. I guess. Jesus. Okay. Well, Batson rises from prone. If you want, you get attack opportunity. Apparently, the, um, Alana enjoys blood sports. Um, yes, I, I will <laughs> take it. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -dum. I'm gonna spend like if if this hits, I'm gonna spend like three charges of the staff to zap. Okay. Hey, so that uh -huh. like six damage total. Zap. Ironically, yeah. Ironically, you didn't even <laughs> feel electricity like damage to kill it. Damn it! But it fries regardless. A bit like have you ever got all those electric fly swatters? <laughs> just yeah. You just kind of like. Push your staff against them and it just goes rawr, 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 and dies. It was just sort of puffs and stares at it for a minute and then looks up at, at Alana and goes, Ippos need help, please. Can't get out. He's stinky. Alana will call over Wolf and Rusty slash Aaron because help yep. she can't. Um... Wolf, Wolf, Wolf is just going to do it by himself. Because it's literally for Wolf a simple, simple half climb down. If I was give hand, chuck if I was back up top, climb back up. As if you chuck if I was back up, like halfway up, his boots pop and propel him another ten foot up. And just whee! Boots like, are still sparkling and clean. Is... Yeah, taking ten and climbing is easy for Wolf to do. Holy so. shit, my internet is terrible. Yeah, join the club. Chugga chugga, woo woo! Still got low res tiles here. Get that right, I'm blowing real tiny. It pose. Yes. Oops, standing on Alana. You okay? Hey, everything's not actually blurry, you know. Is, you need your eyes check. It, it, it's fine. It's still jittery from absorbing crystal lightning magic thing. Clearly, it post needs glasses. Nothing wanna stand mm. still. 
Uh, sure, glasses. let's go north. I like the idea of a cobalt wearing glasses now. <laughs> he would be the cutest. It's true. He already is. Even cuter. Um, I think we've lost the others, the, by does, the way. Does this wall just end here, Jay Mac? No. Well, not quite. Okay. Uh, I, I can see like a little beam where there's like a single pixel of the wall missing. Ignore it. But um, <laughs> what happens as you walk here is there's a strange like shadowy film across the continuation of the uh, tunnel. It kind of writhes and bubbles. Epos tries to walk through it. Uh, you can freely walk through it. E. I, I okay. can't, uh, but oh, I can see can, through it. I can move you across. <laughs> we can slam ourselves into it until you move us. Uh, yes. Epos, as you move, as you move into the next room, I need you to stop a second. Yep. Is that not right? Is that... And what am I rolling? Oh wait, no, here it is. I need you to roll my reflex. Hey, I can actually have a reflex. Well, maybe not. You did. As you put your f best foot forward and whoop. It was you start to slide. Uh, and towards this hole. Okay, do I have anything to stop me sliding? Um, my climb is nowhere near good enough to try and catch myself. I don't particularly have any spells that could help. Oh, actually, Epos is going to basically get to like just before the the hole, and then mm -hmm. boom, stone shield straight up in front of him. <laughs> sure. Boomf. You create a, a non lady it. ramp. Yep, and then you'll sort of peer around and look down the hole. You can do so. There's a strange blue glow at the bottom. I will note, I believe Stone Shield only lasts like six seconds. Yeah, probably. There's already it's crumbling under your feet. So you only get like a very quick look at what's below. So you only really see this strange blue glow before, well, either you fall or the or you, you know, step to the side. Well, I have stopped my sliding now. I can try and get my feet back under me. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not going I mean, to The main issue in. here is this room is, like, sloped. So, but you're kind of near the bottom of it, so it's easier to just step to the side than slide in the hole. Yeah. As the others just hear a wet sliding noise and a plus call out probably a word in, like, druidic or something. Yeah, probably That's draconic, cool. because that would be more... Natural oh, when he's having to not think. It was a druid spell, but he would have probably yeah. pronounced it in draconic because it's like it's, it's not. He's he doesn't have time to think of the actual pronunciation in druidic. It's just word. Fair enough. And he, he'll sort of call back. Careful! It's slippery, yeah. slippery slip to to big hole. I'm presuming the others can hear me through the shadow wall. Yes. I mean, Alana just wants to go through the wall at this point. Oh, sorry. Here you go. I keep forgetting coming yeah. from this. Whee! Yeah, that's Which, yeah. why I haven't gone forward at all. To, I've been using Foundry VTT and they have walls where you can move through but you can't see through it and I want... Which one you give me here? Gimme. Yes, Alana, as you step through and is anyone else stepping through? Yep, I am. Everyone, sure. but by the sounds Everyone. Of give me reflex saves. Yeah, I did, I did force my own tile through, don't worry. <laughs> Wolf is so hard and he can force his way through a vision blocking layer. I, I tried to. I slammed my token really hard against it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is this a... Is this a oh, am I making this check or is Rusty making this check? Uh, I suppose if you're writing Rusty, Rusty is making this check. Wolf, Alana, you both start to slide. Well, I say start to. Wolf, you kind of slip and slide. Whee! I, I did warn them, so they had some like expectations that it was coming. It's true. You know, with that, I'll count that as an aid. Alana, Rusty, you both managed to dig in your feet to the stone below, scuffing away the slime. You're not sliding, but it is, you know, slippy. Need Ashen. Does Priz get a bonus because she, like, doesn't have legs? Eh. I think snake, I mean, snakes, snakes can slide, so. Yeah, but they have, like, a greater contact area. I feel like the big issue with that is, like, they don't have. They can grip, but like, is their grip that great? It's usually they're climbing along like trees and shit. She's fine anyway with the 15. Yeah, Prismatic's fine. Ash, on the other hand, uh. Join me coming down here! 
<laughs> Whee! Uh, I I cannot catch one of you, let alone both. That's true. Um, now, I would like to propose something as we're sliding down here. Uh huh. Wolf would like to deploy, deploy his own form of less slippery ground. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the form of a jar of a jar of difficult terrain of plants. Okay. It can't slide the difficult terrain. <laughs> It's true. The difficult terrain will make it a lot more difficult to slide. Are you using the Mavian pot? Yes, I am activating a ch I'm activating my Mavian pot for the day, and I'm just going to create like a cone ahead of me. As you tip the pot, and moss flows forth, luscious green spongy moss, which, moss. which thankfully it's, you it's just kind of roll pit. into. I mean, I think I. I mean, honestly, I think with Wolf's uh, natural one on his check, basically, he slides into the moss and then kind of just falls forward face first into the moss. That's fair. But for, yeah, for the most part, you just kind of, like, roll into the moss and come to a stop. It's nice. Guys, it's safe! Wolf says from the ground, hand in the air, pot in his hand. That looks comfortable. It is! How long really? it last? It actually is. Feel it, it's really soft. Aaron's going to pull a few lovers on Rusty's back and you hear two metal chunks come out of the ground as Rusty disengages like spikes or something. And Aaron's going to ride forward on Rusty. Fair enough. Although, yeah, Ash also gets the thankfulness of not being stuck in, you know, stuff. Yeah, big, deep, deep hole with weird blue glowy thing at bottom. I like glowy things. Oh, thank you. Uh, that, you that's that's it, above yeah. the tokens. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron just dives underneath the moss. And prone. Here we go. Aaron, without saying anything, just starts tying a rope around herself. Thanks, Wolf. Welcome. How strong is the moss? Pretty strong. How long does it last? No idea. All right, here's the rope. Wolf grabs it. It's going to crawl over. Be careful, please. Careful, this is middle name. Aaron steps off of Rusty, and we'll start working. Want, uh, start being lowered down the pit. Okay, I don't have a good way of doing this, so I'm just gonna drop a copy Aaron up north. Sure. <laughs> Aaron, yeah. you start lowering. Given I'm also holding onto the rope, I'm gonna help try to supportively lower Aaron as well with the rope. Fair enough. Sideline, if you look to the top, you should see yourself. As Aaron, you start lowering yourself down with the aid of Wolf. This is actually anything. not that long of a fall. Maybe, well, actually, it's a pretty long of a fall. It's 60, 70 feet. Okay. <laughs> but towards the bottom, you see a circle. There's runes engraved in the rock in some kind of blue chalk that you can just vaguely see. Huh. It glows in the dark. I mean, actually, yeah, I'm assuming one of you have been carrying like a light source of some kind. Yeah, but... Aaron has an ever-burning light spell. Yeah, fair enough. Uh... In the darkness, it glowed with your light on. Okay, no. Not so much. I have dark vision. I don't need light spell. True. Huh. A little bit further, Wolf. What, what down there? How much rope did Darren have? Uh, fifty feet. Uh, that's all the rope. Oh, get more rope. Um, uh, Rusty, hold. Nah, just holds it with his teeth. <laughs> Wolf's gonna attach his own rope. As Rusty's holding it, and then go back to lowering it. Sure. Aaron, you can reach the floor. Huh. As you step, um, are you stepping into the, or onto No, or into I would like circle? to look at the circle before I step on it. Hey, you want to Mission Impossible, like, hover above it mm -hmm. or something? Are you, like, yeah. saying to the wolf, like, down, down, stop? Yep, yep. Rotate. Uh, give me a Arcana. This is not to identify an, uh, an object, so... No, this is not an object. It's a circle! It sure is a circle. You think it's a ward, actually. Maybe more of a ward? Wait, one, one moment! Aaron's going to pull out her notebook and open it up. Does it look anything like a teleportation circle that no. she found? No. It, it's, it's some kind of circle. I'm going to step mm. on it. Careful. I am. Mm. Aaron's going to step on it. A little lower. It explodes. I lower her onto the circle. Aaron, as you step onto it, you're not particularly heavy, but even as you, like, lower your weight onto it, it jiggles. Ooh! It's soft! Yeah. 
It feels a bit like stepping on jelly. If you had to give it a, a like a descriptor. I'm gonna poke it. Woo? How much compression capabilities do I believe this has? Uh mm, uh, you don't know if it's necessarily compression, in a sense. You're not entirely sure if it's even the stone that's rippling, but perhaps like there's a field or something above it, and it just kind of looks like the stone is. As you kind of press a thing, do you press a finger down? I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. As you kind of do so, yeah, it appears. It feels like you're on the stone, but it's more of a distortion forms, and yeah, well, your finger goes down. Eventually, it does hit the bottom. If you sustain force downwards. Hmm. Aaron's gonna go into her back pocket, sigh a little bit, pull out a magnifying glass. Ooh. Drop it. It bounces. Oh. Ippos, I'll give you a gold if you jump. Ippos jumps. God. <laughs> In fairness, you still have a charge of a bits left. So no, that's exactly, exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Like, just before I hit the ground, just boom. Okay, let me create you. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping Epo's bounces all the way back up to the top. <laughs> Which, yeah, essentially, as you do this, as you form the bubble underneath you and land on the circle, there's a strange interaction between the bubble footed boots and the circle. Where it's kind of like, have you ever, like, when two bubbles meet, they kind of form together? Mm -hmm. As suddenly, instead of a five foot, like, square bubble underneath you, it becomes 15 foot. Oh dear. And, uh, yeah, you now have a very big bubble underneath you. How much bounce does he get? I, I kind of want to see what happens if I pop it. You'd have to, yeah, you'd have to pop it to discover the bounce. Oh, well, I was kind of looking forward to you bouncing on this thing. It seems some form of, like, repulsion system, but, I mean, that's interesting too. Someone else jump! Ippos jumped. He okay. hold, holds out his hand for the coin. Yeah, I know here. No, by the way, Aaron, are you still tied to the rope? Uh, yeah. Wolf is not jumping. Well, I mean, that's not going to do anything. It's just going to crumple the rope. Mm, he also, it also but means unless, he unless can't carry the rope now. now. Unless it was anchored on Rusty, then it would be a very different story. Right. And suddenly Rusty becomes a pulley. <laughs> Which would be comedic. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wouldn't appreciate it, but yeah, Wolf will dive down. You hit the bubble and... No damage. There's a split second where, like, the bubble compresses underneath you, you bounce up maybe, like, three, four feet, but then again, continue bouncing until you just land pretty solidly on the bubble. A brief mid-air flail, like, on a bouncy castle where you can't quite get your angle. You, you can see... I'm just gonna start moving all the tokens down here. You can see up Ipos here. is sort of flailing as he tries to learn how to walk with a 15-foot bubble on his feet. Well, the, I don't think the bubble moves with you. It's just have the bubble move if it's on like flowing water or something. So it's he's not having much success. Yeah. Let's see. There's Ash. There is. Why Ubu. is Rusty in top? No, go away. I, I, I'm. I don't know. Are we giving Rusty the command to again. jump? Well, Rusty would go last. <laughs> I'm just moving everyone over. For expediency's no sake. Because no you, you don't want a 400 pound robot breaking the bubble before everyone else comes down. But even Wolf would have a very bad day if that hit him. Mm hmm. That's true. Everyone can jump down. And yeah, as Rusty jumps down last, uh, the bubble seems to struggle a bit, but thankfully doesn't give up yet. But would you oh. think maybe don't do that again? Fair. Rusty has DR, so it probably, yeah, it's fine. He only has so much DR. Yeah, it's 2 DR. 2 DR versus 60 feet of falling damage? I think not. Yeah. He's got acrobatics. It was a, it was a controlled fall. <laughs> I have fallen through a wall. Oh god. Oh, oh god, he has. Help. You. <laughs> I, I still have no I tokens. I don't know! Oh. That's not good. Just give it like half an hour and they'll load in for me, I'm <laughs> sure. Just bring over his real token. Mm, that's yeah, actually. I can do that. I still can't see anyone else's, but I should be able to see mine then. Yeah. I believe imposter. Uh peoples. People? If oh, it's hey. points right. What in the world are that? With lizard people maybe? Kobolds? Hold on a second, I'm just gonna get rid of people's prone markers. <laughs> Axolotl people. 
you're yeah not far <laughs> off you kind of step into there there appear to be a pair of lizard acts a lot of people they're kind of just chatting to each other behind these wooden barricades it takes them a couple of seconds to actually notice you before they let out strange yipping noises no they they know couple people they they other weird lizard thing fish thing people uh hold on a second i need to check people's languages i can they're tell you no i can tell you <laughs> um, yeah common draconic I'm looking, i speak I'm looking very aquan no, I'm I looking for a goblin. combo. I speak There's goblin a and draconic. of languages. Mm. Which is maybe the combo you're looking for, I don't know. It's not, but I'll give you something with it if nobody else has anything. Okay. Duh. Or maybe thieves can't? I mean, I'll post my languages, make it easier for you, as opposed to looking through. Basically, I have all the languages of the races that are, you know, dumpster goblins, essentially. <laughs> yeah, you weren't actually far off, Rose. I'm looking for a draconic and aquan. Okay. Which, a fair amount if you have Draconic and something that could be vaguely construed as close. Yeah, but it's definitely like a shout of alarm for giving off. Um, Ippos puts his hands up and calls over, No, 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 he, he go, he, okay, we friends, we friends. He, he's recognising the like Draconic part of it, he is speaking in Draconic, which he would actually be speaking a lot more fluently why? than that, but yeah. So we go the other way? Can do. Um, yeah, it 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 was isn't approaching them, but he's he's sort of. No, it it's okay. We're friends. We're not doing anything bad. Please don't shoot us. To be fair, a lot of people probably come down here and stab them. They they probably do. Yes. Yeah, let's go the other way. Uh, I'll give you the note because you mentioned shoot you. Uh, we don't actually have any like well, not guns obviously, but we don't have any bows or crossbows either. But you do see that they have a pair of javelins on them. Ah, so we have the advantage. Technically, yes, you have the advantage. We also currently outnumber them like three to one, from what we can see. Fine, do we want to go stab them? Uh, uh, like out of not character. here to stab things that don't need stabbing. To be fair, everything here lives in existence of meant to be stabbed. Does it? Does it really? Yes. Does it? Maybe, maybe it's just teaching us how to get through a problem. You know, not all problems have fine, to be Fine, fine. Uh, fuck the guard force. I'll do what I want. Oh, Evan's going this way, apparently. I apologize if I stand on any of you. I'm going off sideline stream to see where you all are. They're shaking, go, they're shaking the wall and gear around the us. corner. Aaron, uh, hmm, that's disgusting. What in the... Well, you think you know where all that slime from above came from. As you see these strange slug-like creatures. Oh, okay. Apparently everything goes black for me. You see these strange slug-like creatures. Numerous tendrils extending off their head, but they also have just strange like human faces. Too human. Let's go the other way. Let's go kill some village people. Let's do that. I like that plan more. Aaron, you can't die here. Kill them. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, it's hard to get through that in my head. What are these things? That would require knowledge of engineering. Oh, sweet. I know aberrations, because I'm, Wait, you know... I have that. I forgot I have that. <laughs> when, did I, when did I get that? <laughs> uh, did you get it from Wayfinder? No, I just forgot I have it, apparently. Oh. And you're a mega snodge person, yeah. Okay. Alana, even Aaron... You'd recognize these creatures as flesh warped. Essentially, typically, you know, humanoid creatures taken, altered through vicious alchemy and magic to warp them in such disgusting ways that they don't even. They're not human anymore. They're just I'm... strange. I feel like I'm familiar with these. Maybe. Maybe not particularly these. These are known as Groflut, specifically flesh warped humans who. They're usually seen as a failure, actually. They're mostly transformed into these strange slug-like creatures that all they really live to do is eat. Much like a fly, they spew on their victims to digest them, leaving behind these Icarus trails behind themselves. Uh, you know a bit more about them as well, Alana, unfortunately. Probably one of the evil things that you've researched as part of your, you know, duty as chosen of Vildeus. Uh, 
they have a few abilities. For instance, if they die, they explode. And uh, if you're within that explosion, it sucks a lot. Basically, you know, 30 foot radius burst upon death nauseated. In addition, these creatures can moan, shaking you to your core. It's probably a good thing Silas isn't here anymore. On the flip side of that, you know, being altered makes them immune to a few things, such as mind affecting effects and acid, but their vision is also incredibly poor. Uh, Alana's gonna tell the group to stay back here, and I'm gonna start approaching. Uh, I should also warn you, these creatures are pretty strong. I know. Okay. Well, how far would you say I can get before you have to worry about self-checks? Uh, I'd say basically their vision is stuck to 60 feet. So that patch of moss. Yeah. Pretty I much. will move myself. Well, I'll move as far as... Mm, hey, mm, I, have, I have an idea. What's up? Oh, there's a lot of them. Aw. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of line of sight that other one. <laughs> Thinking where Lana would like look, peer over and go, mm, nope, and back up. All right, I have an idea. Which way do we want to go? Where are the cells? Uh, I'm pretty sure... Sh- okay, so what Alana's going to do, she's going to hug the wall. Kind of ignore Aaron for now, honestly. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, she's fine. So I, I should... need you to roll me a stealth check if you're doing that. Okay. Because this one here would... This one... Oh, you can't show me. This one here would technically be able to see you just you'll get a bit of advantage because technically that is cover okay you're good <laughs> <laughs> uh solana will pause turn the corner look at the villagers and pray that they don't freak the fuck out <laughs> there's more villagers down there yes alana does not have good diplomacy but she will immediately raise her arms and uh and like a it's sort of I'm like the surrender like, kind of like, pose. Yeah, like it's kind of like a universal kind of surrendering pose and just make clear she doesn't mean any harm and to look back at the things as you still path clearly a little shaken. Yeah, these lizard folk, or quotation marks, lizard folk here, they're pretty vigilant. They're aware of the weird fleshy spew things. The one to the north sees you, kind of steps up to the barricade and just kind of slowly quietly pulls it back. Oh, okay. I'll see you, nerds. <laughs> a lot of can't make really make a noise or really double back. Um, when she gets up here, is she'll like mm, try very, very hard to imitate their language. She doesn't know Aquan, but she knows Draconic. And She'll do her best to morph it into I have friends, is that okay? Just in general. Uh, Roman linguistics. Hey, is it okay that I have friends asking for no dance of the room? Asking for a friend. Okay. Uh, sorry, let me do that now. Okay. Uh, the one to the bottom has absolutely no fucking clue what you said. The one to the top uh, nods slowly. She'll hold up her fingers to, like, give them a count, just so they're aware of how many people she's gonna, like, go back and grab in that case. It now looks more confused. They don't count, okay. Yeah. She'll say a number in Draconic, and then double back towards the group, like, peer over the corner, and she'll motion, still saying silent, and then kind of bring her finger to her lips and signal that, or, like, point towards the, uh, the flesh husk thing, and then point north, signifying that there's more, and one of them can probably barely see them when they stealth pass, so to be careful, basically. Aaron nods, gives a thumbs up. Uh, she'll get off of Rusty. No, no, she won't. Um, sort back. of scooch forward a little bit and pull out a thunderstone and motion for everyone to keep going. She readies an action in case one of them looks like they notice, and she'll she readies an action to basically chuck a thunderstone somewhere behind that corner, or it's around the corner. She's hi- still hiding behind the wall, but if like someone gets seen, she's gonna chuck it like uh, that way, essentially. Okay. 
just chair, can I? I'm hiding behind a wall. There. Yeah, no, I'm just obviously I'm just double checking. Yeah. Hey, boss. Yep. Step time. You probably find up all the TBH. Why do you have to you say that? like that? Yeah. I mean, I say that, but I also rolled like 51 this session, so you're fine. As the as the post just kind of goes whoop whoop for the uh, sort of smiles and arcades. waves at them as he goes. They look. I mean, you're objectively the least weird looking one to these uh, lizard folk. Yeah, I keep telling Overall, people but... Epos is normal. They still turn their spears to you. Just keep an eye on you for now. Epos starts doing a silent dance for them. That's how he makes all his friends. It's true. It's a decent dance. Not his best. I'm I'm just gonna leave um, Epos out here just so I can see what's going on, but he's not actually yeah. going back. Fair enough. Uh, Ash and Prismil, they roll me stealth. Why do I need a stealth? Because there, one can really just see. You do have cover bonuses, however. I'm taking that into account. As these things just kind of squelch around their moans. Just something about them just seems so wrong. I just realized I can see Alan's You're token, fine. but no one else's. That's weird. So what? And Prismal is fine. I'm gonna assume it's just the loading thing. Yeah. Because you've all got new tokens. But Evans has loaded in at last, but no one else has. has. Hmm. Aaron's going to notice Wolf's just kind of staring at these things for a while. What are you doing? Well, hey. He shakes his head suddenly and looks at Aaron. What are you thinking? These things, they're not part of the dungeon. Wait, what? Don't ask, how, uh, don't ask me how, but they don't... He pauses. Aaron just makes a gesture for him to come here. They don't smell of this place. They're, they're not. They're not. They're not part of it. Are you saying it's like that slug thing? Wolf shrugs and half nods. All right. So you're saying we need to kill these things, right? J Mac. That was a bad time to open this. Yes. I mean, out of the feelings Wolf's getting, is any is anything inclining him that they shouldn't be fighting these things? I mean, there's nothing screaming at him from this weird sense that he has that he has to kill them. But, I mean, there's nothing screaming at him not to kill them, so... The only thing he feels is that they're definitely... There's just, like... Some instinctual sense that, like, these are familiar for some reason, but they should not be here. Is this related to why you got that fucking weird voice that was calling you down here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. What did that voice tell you, anyways? I can't really remember. Uh, okay, fine. <sighs> it was a while ago. We were all doing other things. I know, I know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Go get, go to the others. We'll talk about those in a few seconds. So Wolf needs to try and get past. Before that one. I mean, I'm already on negative stealth check. I don't need that one. It's true. A mental image of you just falling flat in your face and go boom. Oh, I mean that's pretty. It's not close. that one. I'm assuming this triggers my ready to action. Well, let's see, because these things are also bad at perception. Hey, I rolled high for once. That's not good. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, as they notice that, I want to chuck a thunderstone somewhere else. Okay. Where? Hopefully, that gets their attention more. I'm just behind this corner. I don't know what's over here, but it's going that way. Okay, give me an attack roll. Just sort of a blind chuck around a corner. Yeah. This is just kind of to see. I imagine we'll end up doing the um, diagonal, well, not the diagonal thingy, the D8 thingy. One moment, my character sheet was doing that auto scroll down thing. Yeah. Ah, shite. It's doing it again. I'm going to refresh the page. Actually, I'm just going to roll 120. Add, I believe. I just open your sheet. Yeah. I have that power. Oh, this is so hot today. Let's see. Just your hand grenade thing? Uh, yeah. That's a 16. I mean, considering you're trying to hit a tile even blindly, yeah, you're probably good. It's you're more of a distraction. I don't care where it lands, really. Yeah. I mean, you can get in this area, which the, there's the loud 
Uh, you probably actually catch them in the area. It's what a burst. Yeah. I'll let you know there are some around that corner, Aaron. It's <laughs> just sort of shooting blind. I don't have no idea. You can't see them, but I can. Uh, one of them... Well, they both kind of cry out in pain, but one sounds especially bothered by it. Uh, Aaron, does this have a save attached to it? Yeah, make me a uh, fortitude save. Yeah, I have, secretly. I'll tell you, we rolled uh, a 26 and a 10. Uh, 10 fails. Yeah, no. Which is why I'm saying one of them starts to scream, I need you to make my will save. But oh. the others start with their kind of, you know, blindness move blindly over, sensing danger, attack. Why scream, friend? Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn, you're doing good. I'm just gonna quickly hustle this way. <laughs> you can do so. Okay, should be no surprise that the wolf is not the answer to stuff. It's true. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. those things are nice. Yeah, friendly. Cool. Okay, hi. Oh, blizzard things. Very kind of like alternating between pointing spiky stick at people's, pointing spiky stick at others. Playing space, a spiky stick back at you, Like, um, uh... Okay, uh, Wolf, let's talk about this. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I was... Those things are not part of the dungeon. What? I can't tell you why I know it, but I know it. Those things are not part of the dungeon. They don't feel right. Didn't... They don't feel like this. He gestures to, like, everything else. Hey, J-Mac. Out of characters, I can't quite remember. Wasn't there like a weird thing in the maze or something that wasn't actually part of the maze as well? Oh, the giant the slug. slug. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the incident in the maze, I'm guessing? That's what I brought up too. Yeah. It, I'd be I in that. Yeah. I, all I know is it doesn't feel like this. Something I think. Okay, running theory. Um, Whatever this school uses to create these, I don't know, planar thoughtscapes or whatever you call them. Whatever they, whatever they are, they seem to be producing and or being infected by these aberration things. I, I, it really feels familiar, so like I feel like we've seen it before, it's like something like it. But... Yeah, that slug thing. Does it feel like the fridge? Does it, J-Mac? Uh, Roman, <laughs> wisdom. Because I can tell you, I used the slug parts for the fridge. Oh yeah, that, that's a very familiar... Now that you think about it, that was loving evening spent organizing the fridge, yeah, that's why it feels so familiar. Wolf nods quickly. Yeah, it feels exactly like the fridge. Why stay okay. Ah, uh, right. Um, we should deal with them. I know we just sneaked past and, you know, I just sort of burned a uh, thunderstone, which is not cheap. Uh, I think we should probably go deal with that. Uh... Indraconic, really stunted uh, Draconic. Those things, you know what they are? And Erin just points over her shoulder. The lizard folk look at each other. The one to the north, well, can't really step up because the land's in the way, but stand, like, kind of stands up tall and just kind of. Ah, defilers! Def okay, uh, defilers, that's a pretty good, uh, you know, description. Do you not like them? Dechronic. Shake's head. Help kill? Um. Pauses for a second, looks at the other one, looks... They seem moderately confused. Alana will very... Murder! <laughs> Alana, Alana will, uh... Say... We probably... Well, okay. I need to pause and think for a second. I want to translate into Shikonic. Uh, they're not part of your home. We want to remove them. Um, maybe you can help? They explode when die. She's trying very hard to be very vague because she speaks in a very intricate manner and that does not help right now because they only partially understand her as far as she understands. All they caught explode when die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not entirely wrong. The one to the, north, the top kind of looks at the other one. They start conversing in their strange tongue before it, he turns to you and says, Stay! And oh. then to speaks to the, uh, the one to the south who walks towards further down the cave. Uh, attack of opportunity! Oh. <laughs> Do you want to? 
<laughs> no. Let's turn his turn coat. Alana will tell the group to stay here and very, Ginger very has firmly. finally embraced his inner murder hobo. <laughs> finally? Inner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Out of, out of all the stupid shit Tinder does, he's usually not murder hobo-y. In fact, he usually more tries to adopt monsters into the group. That, only happened, like, that only happened like three times. Well, in the meantime, Alon's gonna walk up to Ash and ask for healing, and since it sounds like we're in the fight. I mean, you've got the healing hex on you already. I'd kind of rather spend the I'd rather save the one cure light wounds I have on me for when somebody goes down. What about your um um wolf kind of just does like sparkle motions with his fingers in the air, kind of all around himself, protecty thing? Is that to Alana or to Ash? To Ash. I mean, yeah, I can give you the ward hex. I kind of assume I I always have that honestly. Probably honestly fair. And I'm um, just kind of like, I have one cure light wounds. So because apparently I don't have that in my sheet right now, so I oh, take that back. More friend. More funny lizard fishy friend. Uh, I will note. Uh, what is with his A face? thing towards saves is not the worst thing. One of the, uh, as not before, one of their special attacks is they'll basically just vomit on you, which is a reflex save. Well, I'll move back over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, j are they evil? I'm going to say Flixen are evil, right? Not evil. What? Oh, wait, are you talking about the lizard people or the... No, uh... not the lizard people. Okay, yeah. You're going to go... I mean, even without the scarf, yeah, these things are probably evil. Okay. The scarf is not happy with her existence, however. Alana's going to go ahead and cast her... Uh, resistance against evil on herself, since she has that as a racial trait. The other values are discussing... A larger group of these axolotl people come across, uh, come here, with these two standing guard here. This one has a more elaborate headgear, perhaps a chief of some sort, but he looks to the group and specifically to Epos and speaks in fairly fluent draconic. What do you want with us outsiders? Oh, hello, big... Um, I don't... He, if us can talk normal, talk normal. Come on, you're in electronic. Talk normal. Ah, uh, you don't talk normal in real life. How are you going to accomplish it in character? Talk more <laughs> normal than he normally does. Don't interrupt his funky flow. <laughs> um. Ah, greetings, great chief. My, well, our group was talking about removing the um strange creatures further back in, in the tunnel, the one which you which threaten your um, areas as well. We were hoping you would be able to aid us in the fight. We know they are not of this land. They do not belong here. We wish to have them. Cousin, the Twisted Ones are new, but he shakes his head. We are weak to them. They are here for us. He looks to the others. The others will not fight, only repel. He steps up to Epos, however. But if you if you rid us of them, I will give you my blessing. Epos will translate for anyone who doesn't know Draconic. Sounds good. Alright, so we gotta go kill some slug monsters, yay. Plus nods a few times to the chief. We we understand. Um, do not wish to put your in danger when you volunteer. If there is any blessings or right beforehand to aid us in the fight, that would be welcome. Let me check the spells. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. you hurt. Yeah, let me heal you and fix my wounds. If Hossa yes. and Lano are both hurt, he will. Fum what appears to be like a collection of bones with some strange twine holding them together and say, O darkest ocean, give the blessing, return them to their home. And channel energy. Oop. Heal wow. four hit points. You know what? I'm okay with it because I keep my two scars. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't lose your scars if you heal. Oh, okay. 
basically it's just you only lose them when you spend them. Well, probably also add the caveat that they only stick around for 24 hours. Yeah, they're probably only stick around for 24 hours. It's probably some sort of I have to do this every day kind of thing. <laughs> you don't get it the easy way. Uh, uh, things, let's see. Things they're possible to one, but one below maximum. After that, he'll draw a strange circle in the air. Triangle's starting to float from his hand. And basically, if you're going to do this fight, oh, actually, he'll say, you fight now? Yeah. Yes. As soon as we In which ready. case, yeah. He'll cast the spell and give you all bless. Oh, take. Well, what I'll probably say here is, oh, actually, he won't do that yet, but we're going to end session, but you'll get a breather to plan, strategize and such. Because also, this is a fight I'd like Big B to be here for, because it's actually probably going to be a dangerous one for once. Jesus. <laughs> Finally. Look, I try. Uh, like I roll one so, so much. Yeah, I know. That's more GMAT curse. Let's do the fights he puts forth for us. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. don't know. With how my rolls go, I, I generally feel on par. I have a necessary question for you. We. Oui. Ding. Do you just want to? Yeah. I don't think. Yeah? I don't think any of us would really say no to it. I mean. I wouldn't benefit from it immediately, other than the health I, increase. I benefit real hard from it, so I'm going yes. I, I would, it's a bit difficult fight. The health increase might be good for you. I, I would question how it'll work with new spells and get from the ding. Generally, uh, the answer is it doesn't. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah, repair spells at all, um, but, but you, you would get the new class features. What about? So you could still spontaneously cast. So you'd have your summons? I can't remember each uh, one. I, 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 do, I don't get summoned. Does he not? Oh. No. Rip, never mind, Vent. But sure, if you wish to level, you can take a, a small breather as they'll invite you into your, their village. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we emerged, we, we entered as mere second level amateurs. We leave as third level veterans. We have been blessed by the axolotl gods. <laughs> Very much. Now we as need to have we're... that. Uh, Star Wars seen with the Ewoks, essentially. Everyone's tokens <laughs> loaded in. Huzzah! Yeah. Well, <laughs> At the end of the session. Yeah, just in time to lose it all again, ready for next session. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I mean, next... It might just be worth next session, like, loading in via map, like, a half hour before. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, the last yeah. map loaded fine. Um, just this one's... Let's I go! Mean... Hubris! 